Hello friends, this is Blessed Prince here and now this video is going to be my continuation of what we have done in the previous that is my uh, GUI part 2 okay so now I, in my previous video we uh, just created a window okay this this was our output we created a window and uh, we discussed on how to close this window with the help of handling uh, a window event okay so uh, we implemented the window listener and also by extending the window adapter uh, we discussed on how to close this window now in this video uh, in this session uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to create a few components and add to this window and I'm going to handle an action event meaning when I press a button okay how to handle that event that's what we are going to do okay so let me close this and I'll continue with our program my previous program okay so in the previous program what we have done we have created a frame frame object set it visible okay and set the title of my window size the size and we have handled okay okay this window closing event so that I'm able to close the window now in this uh, uh, session now uh, to make uh, you understand now let me create some reference variable for a text field okay so I'm going to create a label okay. um, uh, label to okay. and I'm going to create a button the button reference variable okay. yeah so <coughs> in order to uh, add this I need to instantiate the objects of these uh, text field label and button I'm going to do that so let me create a text field first okay I can simply instantiate like this new text field and now here you will have the constructors I'll choose this I'll provide 20 size and same way let me create my label okay I can choose instantiate the label with this label class I have got three constructors here okay I can I can choose this thing to provide the name of the uh, label and I can here say and your your name okay fine and uh, I can create a button okay so instantiate with your button or I can provide this label saying submit or enter anything so now I have created now one more thing we'll create another label object sorry label 2 so I'll instantiate that new, new label okay now here again we have three constructors here this thing the third one I can use to provide the name and I can also specify the alignment whether you want it to align to the left right or to the center but I'll choose to create uh, with a default constructor okay now so here we have created all or we have instantiated the objects already text field label everything now I need to add this to my window okay Fine. now I need to add this to my uh, frame frame is the window so how I can do that with with the help of method of components and you know, where I can say add a component okay so now what I need to add I need to add to the add of initially I'll add a label okay so now this will say enter your name now by the way I will add a text field okay with the add method so I'm going to add a text field and uh, then I will add this button to this frame I'll say add of button let me add the other label also label to okay now I have added everything to my window okay now let me try to run this okay you see nothing here it is the same nothing is added to my window because whenever I try to uh, add something I need to I need to provide a way to arrange the components in my window okay so that is done by your layout manager now there are few layout managers the, the one of the layout manager what I'm going to use here is the flow layout meaning it arranges the components from left to right now how to set okay to my frame window 
I am going to set the layout so that my components will be arranged. I said set layout. And here I am going to provide an instantiate flow layout. Okay, flow layout. Okay, so my frame window is now following the flow layout, meaning my components will be arranged from left to right, the way how we write. So uh, these things are done. Now let us try to run this. Yeah, good. Here you can find I'll enter your name. Okay, and let me say I have I have entered my name. I say okay, and when I submit, nothing is happening. Okay, now what I wanted to do when I click on submit, I need to uh, there is another label added to this window. Now let's see here, which is not visible because I have I have chosen to create this label with empty constructor. There is no name given to the label, but this label is somewhere here. So I need to set my name into this label okay this is my friend's name i'm going to add this name in this label okay so in order so when i wanted to do that when i click on the button so when i click on a button so an action event is generated so my button should uh, be registered to listen to this event so what i will do first i will make this registration process so i'll say button dot add action listener okay action listener of this current object now when I say this, meaning this object must be an object of type action listener, meaning this class should have implemented action listener. So I will say it implements action listener. Okay. Now if I implement an uh, interface, I am supposed to implement all the methods available with that interface. Now within this interface action listener, there is a method called action performed. So I am going to implement that method okay so you can just choose click there and you can implement all the abstract methods so here here we have done the action performed method now whenever i click on a button what happens it creates an action event and it invokes this action performed method so here i can specify what i need to do when the button is pressed okay so here i will mention what i need to do when the button is pressed i want to take the name from the text field and i wanted to set to my label too so I will say label two dot set text. I'll use that method. And to the text set text, what is that argument I wanted to pass? I wanted that string that is taken from my text field to be passed to the set text. So I will simply say text field dot get text. Okay. So here I can also say welcome. Okay welcome plus okay i check right so i'll run this program okay now here let me say ajay and let me press on submit i got it okay welcome ajay got it okay now so uh, now if i wanted to get for example the label of the button okay what I can do I can I can simply get it okay so let me say string uh, label equal to from my action event object I will I can I'll be able to get okay then I'm here there is a method I can say get get action action command okay so I can say welcome Ajay okay so I can I can simply say welcome uh, Welcome Ajay. Okay. Plus label. Okay. So this I mentioned here. You know, simply, uh, just if you wanted to get uh, your the button that you have clicked. You know, in that in that case, you can you can use like this. Okay. Just for that, I am giving this demo here okay so let me say ajay submit okay welcome ajay just clicked submit okay so let me close this that's all okay that's all it's it's it, it's symbol okay so to handle an uh, action event okay when your when your button is pressed okay hope you have uh, got the symbol concept 
Okay, see you in my next session. God bless you.